Hey guys, this is another update on the tank. Check everything out. Everything is doing good after a nice water change. Just take a look at this. Everyone seems to be happy. Um, take in mind, I just turned the lights on. Or they automatically turned on a few hours ago, so nothing is fully open. We can see that... Uh, the bubble coral is doing well. Little zinnia back there. The Kenya trees are all doing good. Take a look. Let's see. What do we got? Taming and Tang. I got a fox face. Cleaner shrimp. If you look closely, there's a lawnmower blenny. I don't know if you guys can really see that right there. Um, everything's going good. In this tank right now um, everyone seems to be getting along I got a Anthus Athenus uh, coming in I got in quarantine right now um, I just want to let you guys know this is a hang on back filter nothing special just diligent with my water changes uh, I think I got less than $250 in the lights it's just a sl simple, clean reset up. I know what you're saying. Oh, it's not perfect, but it's pretty easy setup. It didn't kill me on anything spending. You know, we're able to get some coral. You can see the goby right there, engineering goby. Great, great guy. Pain in the butt sometimes when he uh, digs everywhere. There is just like little hidden tunnels everywhere in here. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but there's probably an eight inch hole down there. Of course that Kenya tree just went down as soon as I was gonna show you the hole. But um, everyone seems to be happy. Um, it's a couple months after no ick in the aquarium and uh, yeah, everything seems to be doing good. New power head over there, it's a couple months old. But uh, other than that, nothing wrong with this tank. Simple setup. So those thinking about jumping in the reef ha hobby, just know you can get it done. That's what the lights look like with their both on. And everyone just seems to be chilling, having a good time. I'll be adding a couple more fish. I got about another week in quarantine for my other fish. And then I'm going to put them in. And then uh, I'm going to get some clowns after that to add to the tank. We can just see that Blenny back there. He's still a little shy. He's only been in the tank for about a month. Maybe a little bit less. But uh, he likes to eat all the algae and as you guys can see my cyano bacteria is starting to grow on the rocks. These are all going to become purple soon. Just wait it out. Don't put anything in your tank trying to get it to grow. You know, you're just adding chemicals in. Everything will come. Patience in this hobby. Don't do anything too fast. Um, for anyone saying that you need super fancy equipment to have a reef tank, it's not true. Maybe for growing uh, the most expensive corals and the harder to keep, that will be true. But you're just trying to have a reef tank. Get in there, do your research, save your money, get a quarantine tank. Um, here's going to be some corals I'm putting in my tank soon. It's a nice simple setup I got down here. You can see some candy canes. There's a uh, Zoas I'm putting in. Toadstool. Um, that's a mushroom. Plate coral. And I got a giant clam. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I zoomed in right there. But uh, everything's doing really simple, easy setup. I upgraded my light down here. It's probably the best light you can get for under $60, and I'm actually getting coral growth in my quarantine tank. All right. Well, you guys, that's uh, an update on my tank. And uh, I'm going to keep this video short, but you can see, to me, tank, great addition. I really, really recommend getting that. Um, that's just an algae rock in there that I put seaweed on. Um nothing to report so yeah everyone is happy and healthy and uh, we're gonna add a few more fish 
So that's my simple reef tank, you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out.